Kangaroo stew and scones were on the menu for the Queen's lunch in Perth. Reporter Amanda Hart joins us from the WA Capital now. And Amanda, it will be back to a little bit uh, more of a formal business, I guess, for Her Majesty this evening. Bill, and it's just as well the weather has cleared up as well because the Queen and the Duke will be attending a garden party here at Government House. Now, there's about 1,800 people or so who are coming, but it is a very exclusive event. It will include politicians, uh, business leaders and community leaders. There'll also be about 50 or so school kids, but it's not the first time the Queen has seen school kids today. Not your average school day and not your average teacher. No doubt the real teachers were wishing their students were always performing their best. It's just a great morale boost for the girls who've done so well in school this year. Outside, some disappointed people. I wanted to give it to the Queen, but I couldn't because you went so fast. <laughs> Inside, the Queen opened new boarding facilities at Clontarf Aboriginal College in Perth. Her Majesty couldn't pick sides at recess. Girls' basketball, not a sport of choice. I stuffed up a little bit. I just, <laughs> yeah, very nervous. The boys tried to score some goals to impress the monarch too. The Queen still taking a mark, being presented with her very own football. But all the sport worked up an appetite. Kangaroo stew, the first item on the menu. How tasty is it? Um, I'm going to rate from 1 to 10, probably a 9. But just in case it wasn't to her liking, some scones and damper were on hand too. And I just told her that um, we normally cook it underground. And she like, that's, that's a different way of making bread. <laughs> the Queen's going solo today. The Duke is at the University of Western Australia having a look at some mining equipment. And perhaps it's just as well after the Prince's gaffe yesterday. During her Melbourne visit, a teenager presented the Queen with an inscribed stick. But Philip didn't twig its significance, telling the youngster to put it on the nest. <laughs> Not the first time the Duke's got the wrong end of the stick. Amanda Hart, 10 News.